Dale with Traders Help Desk, and this video is just to go over some of the new indicators that I have developed that work hand in hand with our existing indicators like the Trend ATR in the ADX and the Directional Volume. Um, the first one is the Stochastics, and I love Divergence, and the Stochastics is really awesome when you combine it with our other indicators. And what it does is it marks the highs and lows of the stochastics. And we also have a new stochastics divergence indicator, which has a green and a magenta dot after trend divergence is detected. Now this kind of sets the tone as to whether we're going to be going long or whether we're going to be going short. And also an opening range indicator in which I set to use the London opening range and it's an average of the opening range. So in this case you can see that the ES on Friday was trading above the blue line. That's telling me to expect upward movement. However, if your higher time frame is retracing, okay, you can actually see it because the ATR will flip from blue to red and you will come back and you will test the red ATR and it's this test right here of the ATR that tells you hey you need to start reading the stochastics and the reason is typically you're going to get hidden divergence okay remember hidden divergence is when price is making lower highs but the stochastics is making higher highs so this tells me that there is a short this is followed by this green dot. Now the green dot tells me that this downtrend is weak, okay? So I would be expecting an upward movement, but it doesn't always come in that way. So when price reaches the ATR, again, we know, read the stochastics, because if we get hidden divergence, we could see another downward movement. So when price comes back to the ATR, look at your stochastics. You can see that we have divergence here. If you look down to the directional volume, you also have divergence there. Okay, so that tells me you could go short with anticipation that it will take out this low. In other words, the downtrend may be weak, but the buyers are weaker okay so we're expecting it to come down and test this low and as you see it has failed okay so this tells me that this downtrend is actually in trouble again we flip the atr to blue we form the congestion dot now standard behavior is when it tests the congestion dot then it will come back and it will test the atr if you're reading your volume, you can also see that it was increasing volume as it approached the congestion dot. But again, it needs to find an area that will support price in order to move higher. Okay, so then it comes down, it barely flips the ATR right here. And if you extended the line from these lows all the way out, you would see that at this point is when it finds support. This is the way support and resistance works. You also notice that you have hidden divergence. If you wanted to be very, very aggressive, you could actually go long here. Instead, I prefer to wait for this secondary dot, okay? It's magenta, it's telling me that this little uptrend is weak. It retraces back to the ATR and what happens? You get trend divergence, a uh, hidden divergence, I'm sorry, and you get divergence on the volume. Notice that we had the magenta peak come in with the magenta dot up here. So I would anticipate that the market would go up, and of course it does. Then when it gets to the ATR again over here, after a magenta peak, okay, it comes back to the ATR, and you can see that when you're comparing 
the volume at this low to the volume at this low. This is where you're getting that hidden divergence in the volume that I've always said is really hard to pick up, but now we know to look for it and we can also see that, hey, the stochastics and the price is trading in harmony with one another. When they're trading in harmony with one another, that's when we get good entry points. And you can see that this continues all the way up in that price is making higher lows and the stochastics is making higher lows. And if you're looking, the volume is doing exactly what you anticipate in that the selling volume is actually decreasing as price is going up. That's what we would anticipate. Okay, so it gives you really nice entries and just really confirms what we're seeing in both the directional volume and the ADX. Of course, the divergence is also in radar screen and so is the stochastics. Anytime we see that it's overextended, then we know we can expect a retracement as well. Again, same concepts that we use um, when the ADX is above 70, we know that the market is overextended. But the difference is we can read the divergence better using the stochastics and using the range indicator. Again, when you see this pattern and it's trading above the blue line, you know that more likely than not, your higher time frame is making a retracement. And, you know, when you come over here to the second and third entries, I do suggest that you come over and look at your higher time frame to make sure that they're not overextended as well.